Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can easily archive channels within Microsoft Teams. Uh, so let me explain to you kind of what, the, what this is all about. So we actually used to have uh, the ability to archive an entire team uh, for quite some time and I actually recorded a separate uh, you know, video on that. So uh, let's say you, ha you created a team and uh, maybe uh, it's a team for a project. Uh, and the project is done, uh, you could easily archive the entire team and essentially make it read only. So it kind of freezes all the conversations and all the files uh, within that team and make it, makes it a true uh, kind of archive uh, for the future. Uh, well, now we have the same ability to uh, archive a given channel within a team. And this is super important, especially now since in the past, you know, we could only create up to 200 channels uh, max. Uh, but now we can create up to 1000 channels. So uh, maybe that's a very unlikely scenario, but still you can create uh, all those additional, uh, you know, channels uh, in your team. And let's say maybe you use a channel for like a small project or something and the project is done and uh, you really don't want to delete the information or move it anyway. You just want to kind of hide it so it's not taking over the valuable uh, real estate. Well, let me show you how to do that. So let's pretend I need to archive uh, this channel. I no longer need it. I no longer need it shown. Again, I don't want to delete it. I want to retain all the files. I want to retain all the conversations. I just don't need to see it every day in my teams. So here's how you do it. Uh, three dots. Uh, archive a channel, all right? And you get uh, the same pop-up you get when you try uh, try to archive the entire team. Essentially what happens, it freezes all the conversations in this channel, so uh, no longer people can chat in here, but you can also make the SharePoint folder read-only, all right, for the entire team. Uh, let me do that, and actually I'll show you what's happening behind the scenes. So I'm going to uh, click um, uh, archive. So first of all, as you can see, uh, it kind of disappeared. It kind of disappeared uh, from this list. I can still access it, by the way. Let me show you how I can access it right here. It's kind of hidden, all right? It's kind of hidden. Um, but let me show you what's happening behind the scenes. Now, when, um, because this is just to show you again, uh, this is a standard channel. This used to be a standard channel. So what ends up happening uh, behind the scenes, all the files that are stored in this uh, folder that got created. Remember, for all the standard channels, a folder is created and where, that's where the files are stored for that particular channel. Uh, remember when I clicked the checkbox to make it read only? Well, let's see what it did. I'm going to right click, manage access, and I want to show you what happened. So look at this. Uh, essentially, uh, this used to uh, be, uh, it, it used to say can edit for the, um, you know, uh, project members. All right. So actually, let me show you on this general channel. I'll do the same thing. Uh, all right. That's the one that we kind of uh, left as is. As you can see, uh, the team members can edit, you know, have edit capabilities. Uh, well, uh, let's double check now this one. Remember, we archived it. So look what happened when I ar archived it and when I checked that box, uh, it made this folder read only. So behind the scenes, it actually changed this from uh, can view, can edit uh, to can view it. It did it automatically. It did it automatically. All right. So that's essentially what happens when you archive a channel. Uh, let's go back to Teams. Now you can do the same to uh, shared and private, uh, you know, channel. So I have a shared channel here. I have a private channel. The only difference here, uh, let me actually archive this one as well. So I'm going to archive this. Um, uh, let me see. I think I have this open already just so that, uh, yeah, let me uh, archive uh, this finance one, the shared channel. And um, yeah, just like that. Now it says, again, make the folder uh, read only. For team members, I'm going to do that. But uh, remember, when we create a shared or private channel, it's not a folder anymore. It actually creates uh, a whole separate site. I have it right here. So this is a site for that private or shared channel. I'm sorry, in our case, shared channel. 
uh, for finance. Uh, and this site was created when, uh, when I created that shared channel. So when I just made this channel read only, essentially, once again, uh, it um, removed the ability for people to add, edit, delete uh, documents uh, on the site or within the channel. Uh, all right. Now, this only impacts uh, o o the members of the team. It does not impact the uh, owners. That's why I still have the ability to add, edit, delete. It only impacts wherever the members of the channel are. So uh, that's super, super important. Um, and then, yeah, let me show you how you can easily restore uh, the uh, channels. Uh, let's say you archive them and maybe after a while, maybe the project is reinstated. Uh, just click uh, Manage Team, Channels, and under Archived, you will see the channels that have been archived. Uh, and um, yeah, you can easily restore them. So let's go ahead and restore them. I'm going to restore this channel, and I'm going to restore this other channel. And essentially, um, the activity can uh, happen again on those in those channels. They go back to the original location. And very important, they are not, when you archive them, you are not uh, de been deleted. Uh, they are kind of just hidden. Uh, the site still exists. You know, the, the channels, they still exist. They're kind of hidden, um, you know, from your eye site. But, you know, uh, you can easily uh, recover them if necessary. Uh, one last thing I want to mention is that... Um, uh, the archived channels still go against the uh, 1,000 channel limit. All right, so uh, if you, let's say, created 1,000 channels and you archive a few of them, it doesn't mean you can create new ones, all right? Um, only if uh, those are completely deleted. I mean, obviously, you can create additional channels at that point, but the archive channels still go against the overall uh, limit, the overall number of channels you can have in a team, which is 1,000. All right, so that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully, you found it uh, informative. Um, as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.